An infant's death is being investigated as a homicide. This is the second tragic case we have seen in the last few weeks. Fox 59's Courtney Crown shares this afternoon the message for every family. We just need to make sure that we're on top of these kind of things so that we don't find the kid when they don't have a chance anymore. First responders found a baby unresponsive and not breathing on February 5th. The baby was rushed to Riley Children's and passed away on February 9th. The coroner's office ruled the baby's cause of death blunt force trauma. When you see the the day in and day out of like the horrible things that happen to kids, it can take a toll on you. IMPD's Detective Alicia Bernhardt spoke generally about the cases she investigates. She urges people to pay attention to children. Things that kind of make your hair stick up and think that the kids shouldn't be bruised there. They shouldn't have that sort of injury. Just say something. Call the Indiana Department of Child Services Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline or 911 if the concern is urgent. Please call police. Please call, you know, whoever we need to get there right away to make sure that kid's taken care of. Before the infant's death on February 9th, another two-month-old baby, Kamora Sutton, also died with non-accidental injuries on January 21st. We know it's tough on the, the families. We know it's tough on the community. Experts advise those around children to know their triggers, take deep breaths when frustrated, and identify a person to call for help if you need it. This can include a loved one or even a nearby member of the faith community. I've never known any of them to, you know, reject someone just because they don't go to, to that uh, particular place. On the east side, Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. We have a list of important resources for families posted now over at fox59.com. Just look for Courtney's story.